Hello everyone. Welcome to skydia.com. My name is Dr. Diwan and the topic of the lecture today is myocardial hypertrophy and heart failure. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what myocardium is. We're going to talk about what's the basic structure of myocardium. What are all those Z lines, those H signs, those M lines, those H zones, those heavy chains, those light chains stand for? How do they make up this whole structure? And what happens if those myocardiums are stacked together? How they make up the contractility happen? We're going to talk about what's the normal size of a myocardium is. Next on, we'll build up from myocardium and then we're going to talk about how uh, the effects will propagate if myocardium is hypertrophied. We're going to talk about what physiological hypertrophy means, what pathological hypertrophies mean. We're going to talk about what will be the consequence of physiological hypertrophy. We're going to talk about what will be the consequence of pathological hypertrophy. Next time we're going to talk about the pathogenesis of it. We're going to talk about how does it happen? What are the basic causes of uh, this hypertrophy are? And then we're going to talk about how it leads to heart failure eventually. Next on, we're going to talk about molecular pathogenesis. We're going to talk about how this pathogenesis is, effect is affecting at a very minute level, at a very molecular level. We're going to talk about how those adult isoforms get converted into neonatal isoforms. We're going to talk about how beta adrenergic receptors go down when they're hypertrophied and how the calcium levels are still up in the hypertrophied cell. We're going to compare them with the normal cell, we're going to compare the hypertrophic cell, we're going to tell you which of these uh, elements affect the heart in that way and lead to the hypertrophy, we're going to talk about which inhibitors if we give can stop the remodeling of the heart. Next time we're going to talk about the basic pathology of hypertrophy, how does it happen, we're going to talk about the different slides, we're going to tell you that how to differentiate it on a histological slide, how to differentiate it on uh, uh, gross section. Next round we will discuss types of heart failure that what is a heart, what is heart failure? How, why is it called heart failure? Because heart is not doing its function so it's failed. But that's what heart failure is. We're going to talk about what are the clinical features of heart failure. We're going to talk about the clinical features of right heart failure. We're going to talk about the clinical features of left heart failure. We're going to compare them both and we're going to see how they're interrelated in these manners. For watching the complete video and the variety of lectures, please subscribe to sky.com. Thank you for watching.